Kidney stones are a painful condition and one of the most common disorders of the urinary tract. A technique called lithotripsy breaks those stones up so they can be passed more easily. Dr. Leon Helmbrecht discusses the procedure and the standalone kidney stone center at Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center. Kidney stone is a formation of various minerals, most common calcium that forms in the kidney, in the urine. They hurt because they block up the kidney. The kidney still produces urine and the kidney stretches. That's what causes the pain. People describe it as the worst pain they've ever imagined. Most of the time it's diagnosed radiographically. Today, uh, with a CAT scan is the most common way of diagnosing it. It's treated based on the size of the stone. If it's small and the pain is manageable, you might allow it to pass. If it's large and doesn't stand a chance of passing, then it's going to need some kind of intervention. If there's infection behind the stone, it needs to be treated now. When the stone is too large to pass, then it's going to need some kind of intervention, and usually that entails either ureteroscopy or some type of external shockwave lithotripsy. We have a machine that's manufactured by Stortz. It's the second generation, the original one being the bathtub, and it basically delivers shock waves through the body and focuses them on exactly where that stone is. And that energy breaks the stone into little pieces and allows them to pass. If the stone is high up in the kidney, you could slide a small scope, a flexible ureteroscope, up to the kidney and break the stone up with a laser. Or you could use a, an approach that's called a percutaneous nephrostomy. Goes through the skin into the kidney and a little tract is dilated and then lithotripsy is applied directly to the stone and it is removed through that tract. If the stone is stuck midway in the ureter and you can't get to it from below and you can't get shock waves to it because it's say protected by the bony pelvis, then one approach is to put a stent by it and dilate the ureter a little bit over a period of time and then take the stent out and usually the stone will then move further down and sometimes out into the bladder. The Kidney Stone Center at Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center is unique because it's a freestanding facility with state-of-the-art equipment open to all the urologists in the area. This was originally set up as a referral center. Pomona had an idea that they wanted to really be a regional medical center. So we have encouraged the doctors to come here to do the treatments. I think that the Kidney Stone Center probably has five cases a day, four to five cases a day on the average. And that's a, uh, an accumulation of cases that uh, come from the local community. Uh, we contract with Kaiser to do their cases. Their doctors come over and do the cases here. And uh, cases that are brought from far and wide. Doctors love coming to the Kidney Stone Center because they know they will have the most modern equipment and they have the support staff. And I think a strong testimonial to it is when you look at the, uh, at the bulletin board out there with all the thank you cards from patients that may have come in in pain, but they have an awful lot of nice things to say afterwards.